little bit different kind of project which I have done recently because everybody talks about the construction. I will talk about the dismantling. So first of all, such a gigantic bridge, which was one of the longest bridge in Asia in 80s. I was given the task to dismantle it. Though it was the lifeline of the Bihar, Patna was getting connected with the North Bihar and the Nepal by this bridge. I think most of the people my, who have seen the Patna might have crossed this bridge. But after construction in 80s, it was inaugurated in the something around 86. And uh, by the 2010, the, there was distress came in the superstructure. So one of the span even gone down in the river itself. So this design came at that time. At, a, at that time, the earlier port was not having that uh, capture of the sinkage and deep losses up to that level, which happened in, in this particular. It was clear. In this particular bridge, the most of the miss uh, there was continuously from 2010 onwards, government was spending money on the repair to uh, cope up with the losses of the pre stress. So ultimately in 2016, the government decided that what is to be done, a full full solution should come. So we were given the task to give the solution. So ultimately we gave that we should dismantle the entire of the superstructure and reconstruct the superstructure. Though we checked that the substructure was reasonably good to take the load. So I will just go through the most of the means part you can visualize through the pictures and wherever any any detailing is required, please stop me. The left side you can see is the view of the old Mahatma Gandhi Setu and uh, which was de-stressed due to some technical flaws and due to other factors, cascading effect of the other factors. Right side it is the rehabilitated bridge. These are the salient features. The length of the bridge you see that it's the full length bridge of 5.575 kilometer long. The width of the top is 28.95 meters. There are two carriageway, means 7.5 meter wide, two carriageways, and on the both of the side there is two meter footpath. Now in the rehabilitated uh, condition, uh, we have added up 1.5 meter utility corridor on the other side of the bridge. The span arrangement is end spans are 67 meter and all the intermediate spans are 121 meters. Type of the superstructure after rehabilitation is the steel through truss. Previously it was balanced cantilever. Execution of the work was divided into three categories. As you see here, there is a Patna site. There are, means entire river is flowing in the last expanse, P37 to P46, where perennial flow is there. So for that, the construction methodology was little bit different. I will explain further. And there are intermediate expanse in which only in the flood season, there was the water flow. And other of the expanse of P1 to P26, means half of the bridge was having the land expanse. In this particular, what I have told earlier, for these all the three categories, entire superstructure was to be dismantled, and not only superstructure, part of the pier was also to be dismantled because I have to protrude the old reinforcement. Uh, for the uh, just making it continuous with the new reinforcement. So as, as you see in this my photograph, this is the portion which is showing the, this is the old, old pier, old uh, bridge is running, two lanes are running parallelly, and the two lanes has been dismantled, and part of the pier has also been dismantled, and uh, for, um, approximately 75 centimeter reinforcement has been exposed for, for making them continuous with the new reinforcement. The through type 
the span length was varying the truss was standardized just to accommodate that the in the this you see that in the end portion cantilever portion the variation of the truss was accommodated because the the span length cannot be standardized for such a long bridge at the time of doing the foundation bell gets shifted so there was certainly there was a variation of up to 1.5 meter in the span center to center for various spans spherical bearing was used for the better for the longer life previously we were using some pot ptfe bearing or some uh, uh, old uh, bearings were the uh, roller rocker bearings but now we have gone for the spherical bearing for that if you will compare that now the uh, msm is having the load of 180 mpa if we will even just few years ago the whatsoever best uh, compressible material was available in the market it was having only the capacity of 60 mpa so the technology is going very fast and in the all the seg segments there is the development this is the cross section of rehabilitated bridge you can see that the pier head has been converted into the pier caps and at the top it has been uh, integrated to take the momentum load of the overturning load because on the both the side you are seeing that the 4.5 meter cantilever pier cap has been extended just to accommodate the uh, footpath and the utility corridors now this is the very basic reason for the failure of such a gigantic structure at that time apart from the uh, losses uh, which happened uh, during the creep and sinkage which were not captured at the time of design in the earlier code this is the hinge bearing which was placed just to give a stability for the cantilever tips of the both of the is uh, cantilever arms which was not maintained by the authorities maybe state government or whosoever were there it was not properly in what happens in most of the cases that after structure is complete authorities are not taking any care for the maintenance part of the bearings expansion joint and this was the hinge bearing which was struck up and due to uh, this uh, struck up the cascading effect was that the secondary stresses came and which in the long run created the distressing of the entire span this is the means first of all this is the first step of uh, dismantling of this entire superstructure first of all we just removed the central hinge bearing by cutting them from the center this is the drawing showing you the how the hinge bearings was being provided for balance cantilever bridges which were constructed in 80s this is the view of the one balance cantilever span and the green color the cables are being shown they are just to emphasize that these cables were placed afterwards during as i have told that after 2010 as the bridge gave the distress so the external pre stressing was done in the phased manner so these are the cables which were provided for strengthening this particular bridge to keep the traffic flowing this is the view i if the time will permit i will show you the video this is the latest technology with the chok crusher high grade of concrete was being crushed and by doing that now the time frame for this particular type of dismantling has came down drastically very short means maybe few of our colleagues may not be aware for that that is you first this bridge only one span was give awarded for dismantling and one of the indian leading company gaman took one year to dismantle even a single span after that in the second phase when we took up this decision to dismantle the entire bridge the fcons was taking only 3 days to dismantle single span so you can think that they have taken around one year and by this technology they, it was the time frame was came down to only 3 days 
these are the view of the cables inside the girders we are seeing that these are the external cables which were provided by fascinate at the during the period to just keep the to maintain the pre stress again uh, and to keep the traffic flowing smoothly but it was not very successful time and again the expenditure was being made this is the view of the because before dismantling the first challenge for me was the entire structure was in the stressed condition so for me first challenge was to de-stress it so first of all i made a provision for de-stressing the cables in the phased manner so that nothing should go wrong so in the reverse manner how the bridge was constructed in the reverse manner we went that we just de-stress the last cable first by the flame cutting and sequentially the dismantling was done this is the another view of the jock sir where which the footpath of the this bridge was being crushed and after that the segments were being crushed so this is the here you can see that uh, dust was which was throwing the water with uh, mist with air high pressure air so that the uh, whatsoever uh, this dust was being generated during crushing process it should not contaminate the nearby atmosphere it was being suppressed down this is the another view just uh, crushing or two of the jokers are working simultaneously uh, to crush the this uh, pier head now this is the in the water span we uh, the ganga is a very holy river and very sensitive from the environmental point of view so it was not permitted to allow any one piece of debris to go down in the river so that's why the wire saw cutting technology was adopted in the space where the water was flowing continuously and this is one of the photograph of the wire saw cutter that uh, the video is also available so this is the another view which is showing that the whatsoever back side you are seeing the two lanes of the bridge which are running throughout because the traffic was also to remain alive it was the very important link but on the two lanes were dismantled in the phased manner you you can see that the tailor made gantries were placed at the top of the deck to hold the segment you can say that we went in the reverse order one by one the segment was first erected in the reverse order the segments were cut down and they were lowered in the uh, to and sent to the dismantling yard this is the view of the inside the river where the gantries has been placed you know, simultaneously at the different locations and the the segment is being lowered and it is uh, being lowered over the barge from barge it is being towed away to the crossing yard this is the under view of the the dismantling gantries holding the segments and uh, by um, this uh, wire saw cutter we are cutting of the segments and after that they are being lowered this is the under view with the crane is being utilized to speed up the work this is the the segment cut off segment is being placed for on the trailer just to tow away and this is the view of the wire saw cutter dismantling cutting of the pier head this is the under view you can see that the pier head wall one of the ball is going out after cutting and being handled by the crane this is the that view i have already explained that it was the uh, with the uh, manual jack hammer and the uh, robotic chipper we were dismantling so that the old reinforcement should not get disturbed and it will come out and we will place it with the uh, crimping uh, to with the new bars this is the view that the crimp couplers dextra made couplers are placed you have you might have seen most of that the threaded couplers are very popular in the industry but these couplers are rarely used but there was a restriction that uh, we can't uh, place the threaded coupler because old rebars which were existing in the structure cannot be threaded at that location that's why this percussion coupler or hydro hydraulically pressed couplers were used this is the this is the under view of the couplers has been staggered and placed and staggered in the left side this is the 
you see that pier cap was in the revised design in the, the after the rehabilitation to accommodate the width of the uh, structure was increased so the cantilever portion is around 4.5 meter out of the pier this is the under view this is the pier cap ready for to cast this is the view of the just the templates were made so that in most of the civil works in the bridge particularly what happens the whatsoever placement of the uh, this uh, or the bearings when it comes the reinforcement infringes with that and the contractor goes for to cut off the reinforcement so here we decided that the first of all the templates should be placed wherever the under the enforcement is about to uh, other uh, other some enforcement or starts up about to come this is the view of that i as i have shown there is a huge cantilever of 4.5 meter so to just balance the uh, cantilever this is jo, overturning movement the mechanical bars were temporarily placed to hold the uh, this carriage way till the time the pier cap is not being mon uh, a monolithic casted at the top of the uh, new structure this is the view of the three dimensional view of the through type truss which was placed over the piers after the rehabilitation of the substructure this is the bottom components after that this particular photograph which is showing the existing two lane and in the uh, outer side in the front side you can see that the staging has been temporary trusses has been placed and over that the truss was just placed and the for the camber is two jacks were placed and uh, luckily after after the entire um, placement we have found that the no way none of the span was having the negative camber because if the camber is negative then certainly in the railway there is particularly that they have to place the uh, speed restriction and uh, in this particular after construction we got the throughout positive camber it shows the quality of the whatsoever fabrication work was done this is the view showing that in the water span it was not possible to place the truss directly so the liners were placed with the vibro hammer and they were further extended and after that the truss was placed that you see that is within the water this liners has been placed and over that the truss has been placed this particular photograph is showing you that one complete span in the water span is placed and uh, has been erected and after that there is was a challenge that every time it was not it was a time taking procedure if we are going to place the spans in the same manner so we decided to design the second the spans in such a way that in the both the side cantilever construction was done so here you see that once the span is this span is completed after that the adjacent spans was erected with the cantilever methodology this you can see in this particular photograph sir this is the at the top link pin has been placed and the buffer plate at the bottom and the adjacent spans simultaneously both the spans are being placed this is the under photograph of the both the completed spans adjacent completed spans and the anchor span is having taking the entire load of the adjacent span this is the photograph showing that adjacent span is about to land on the other side of the pier but it is little bit higher so that the link pin may be dismantled this top blue color pin is to be dismantled for that this particular photograph is showing that where the this is being landed it is being this particular end will be raised so that the link pin will get released and after that it will be removed this i have already told you that residual camber is the important phenomena for any steel bridge and it shows the quality of the work and here we have got the positive camber in a camber throughout the on the in the all the spans this particular slide shows the is to speed up the work this crash barrier was cast with the slip form few of the innovations i would just like to highlight that as around 80000 cubic meter of concrete 
was dismantled. That was a gigantic structure. World over, nowhere such a large scale dismantling has been done. So to dispose of such a such huge quantity of material was a challenge. Uh, as we see that somewhere, everywhere in the metro cities, the concrete blocks are lying side the roads and contractors leave them as a nuisance. So we have converted it in the GSB for the for the reuse of the uh, this uh, dismantled concrete in the environmental friendly manner that you can see here, sir, that this entire uh, has been This concrete was uh, just uh, converted into debris, and after that, by crushing, we converted it into GSP in the greater manner, and uh, reinforcement was also segregated, and it was also sent to the reuse in the furnace. Sorry. So this was the one of the view. I was showing you that the debris was segregated and the reinforcement was also segregated with the um, heavy duty uh, magnets and this is the tailor made system with which the, these uh, boulders were converted into GSB. Sir. Dismantling of superstructure and part of substructure was done with the jock as I have told you, environmental, for environmental protection and suppression of the dust, the dust was used which has also been shown you earlier. This is the one of the view. Dust wash is being um, placed. And especially designed gantries for with the high speed diamonds or cutters were used to dismantle superstructure and part of the substructure as already explained. These are the photographs which are in which the segment is being uh, lowered. Just last. Repair grip couplers, which I have already told you that uh, in the means uh, large quantity, this repair grip couplers were used. And uh, for that, the uh, pressure has been shown. Anchor span, I have already explained temporary peer strengthening of with the McAuley bar. This has been explained just to take the load of the uh, over, overturning movement. And uh, multiple options as the dredging was, as the siltation was the biggest challenge. And in the river span, the movement of the, this barge and the two boats was uh, being hindered by the siltation. So the various options were taken for the desilting. De and at the last, jo hai, I will show that the entire project we have conceived that we have just uh, implemented the solar system for the long run. And the so entire solar system will be connected with the grid. And in the daytime, the water of power is generated. It will go to the grid. And uh, in the night time, it will be used. And the uh, water surplus power will be available. It will be utilized for the public use. So that was the uh, thing which uh, we have done. We have means uh, you, we can say that uh, this is the one of um, view of the completed project. Thanks everybody.